it's Toki, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Moon Nuzlocke. As we're trucking on through the Alola region, and uh, trying to uh, get a team together, as we only have three Pokemon right now. And uh, we're uh, about to take on our first trial, so if anyone's hyped for that, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. So that you can keep up with this little Nuzlocke that we're doing. Because um, this is not going to, this is, by any measure, is not going to be an easy game to Nuzlocke, because we do have our first trial. So who knows what's going to go down in this trial. Um... Let's uh, recap our team. I don't think I have anything else prior to say to that, so let's recap our team. So we do have Quinto, Beans, R Alone, and Grimer still, who has the moveset of Pound, Poison Gas, Disable, and Bite, who is going to be a level 13 and does have that careful nature, so special defense up, special attack down. Then we do have Ruby the Pick-A-Peck, who is going to have the moveset of Peck, Growl, Echo Voice, and Rock Smash, who is a level 12 and is going to have that neutral, hardy nature. Oh, I did not mean to pass B. I am bad at this. Then we do, lastly, lastly we have RJ the Rally, our starter, who's going to have the moveset of Tackle, Leaf Fist, Astonish, and Peck, and is going to be also that Catherine Nurse, just a special attack down, special attack, uh, uh, special defense, uh, special attack down, there we go. Let's not overcomplicate things. Anyways, though, we are right here in front of Captain Lima, ready to take on this trial, so let's go right on ahead and see what she has to say. Or, I actually think I figured out recently that this is a boy. Even though he has pink hair like this, apparently this is a boy. So I'm not... I'm just going to stick with our voice. I don't want to switch things up. But, yeah, I guess I screwed that up. Greetings. Captain Lima here. And my trial... Begins mere steps from here in Verdant Cavern. Note that the Pokemon living within Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I wouldn't venture in unless you're prepared. Some potions and so forth. Through attempting a trial during the island challenges, one can exceed his own, uh, his or her own limits. That is what the Alolan people believe. Once you enter, enter Verdant Cavern, you will not be able to leave until you have completed the trial. Are you prepared for the trial? Yes, we are ready. Let's do this. I'll be waiting for you. Alright, 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 alright. And no, we aren't ready. We're going to turn back and make sure I got enough potions. She scared me. I'm scared now. Let's get one more. Let's go to 12. Let's get one more. She scared me. Or he scared me. I'm sorry. Whatever. Whatever. Pokemon, come on. Make these people clearly one gender. Alright, that one potion might save a life. It might save a life. Oh, and there's new berries over there. Screw that. I'm getting them new berries. We might want those too. Yeah, there's no Kabbalah in here, so cool. Alright. Now we're ready. Verdant Cavern, design trial site for the island challenge. And here we are, guys, our first trial in Verdant Cavern. Look at this crazy place. Very green. Just beautiful graphics. Let me formally welcome you to Verdant Cavern. I am your Captain Lima. Allow me to explain the basics of my trial. What you should what you should attempt to do is Defeat three of the Pokemon that lurk here in their dens. Then reach the pedestal deep within the cave and collect the Z crystal there. You'll need to com be completely in sync with your Pokemon to succeed. Oh dear. And there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Many strong Pokemon make their home in this cave, but one one stronger, more fearsome than all the rest, known as a totem Pokemon, also resides here. And it will be the greatest obstacle you face as you attempt to clear my trial. By the way, until you clear the trial, you'll not be able to catch the Pokemon in Verdant Cavern. This is but one of the seven trials you will face during your island challenge. And it begins now! The trial of Captain Lima! Alright, trial start. We are ready, we are ready, 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 ready. Alright, yeah, we got our Lolan Grammar ready to go. Let's check in here. Yeah, let's look inside. Alright, and we have our first Pokemon to defeat in this trial. The trial of Captain Lima. It's going to be on the Lolan Rattata. Thank you. 
I'm going to switch out right away. I'm gonna go into Ruby. I didn't even realize Ruby wasn't even fully healed. That's that's my B. Ruby can't take another one of those, so we're gonna go for a Rock Smash as long as there isn't a crit. And Ruby Oko's the Alolan Rotata, so let's go. Ruby showing off, shredding those little feathers. Still, two more Pokemon to defeat. Two more Pokemon to defeat. Let's heal up. Alright, this Pokemon hopped up out, out up at us. And there's going to be another Rattata, so maybe I should switch Ruby to the front, so we can just spam, uh, spam Rock Smash. Supersonic, that is such an inaccurate move. We will not be learning that. We'll take that XP though. Still one more Pokemon to defeat. And let's heal up. I actually do want to give one base to our Pokemon. Oh god. Alright, let's go. TM Brick Break. Ooh, we're teaching that now. Because if Ruby can learn Rock Smash, I'm pretty sure Ruby can learn Brick Break. Yeah, we can. Awesome. So, an even stronger move for this trial. So, that's actually really nice. Snag that super potion. Check in this den. There's nothing inside. Pokemon seems to have moved up there. Let's go check up there. There's nothing inside. Alright, Pokemon has appeared to move way over there. That item first is next defense. Checking this small down, there's nothing inside. Alright, so this Pokemon just avoiding us. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Give this one more try. And oh. Uh, oh no, not these guys again. Yo, yo, yo! It's your Berry Threes, boys! Back, back again! Remember us? Sorry, who are you? Oh, I see. Just because we switched places, you can't tell who we are anymore? Who cares about that anyway? We're here to mess up his trial up. To mess his trial up, yo. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yo, let's get that Pokemon, homie. Alright, so we are going to be taking on Team... Uh, <laughs> I, I almost forgot their name. Team Skull. I almost said Team Plasma. Team Skull for the third time. Let's see if they brought any more power. 
and it does look like they're just going to have that drowsy again, so we're just going to switch right into a Lull and Grimer and try to take this thing out with a bite, with that very strong stab bite. Grimer is going to go for pound, and we're going to go for a bite. Another pound, we are slow. Bite is gonna take out this drowsy, and we are gonna defeat that team skull grunt. Squintail Greens is going to gain another level. Is it cool for me to be in Team Skull if I'm if I'm this brittle? What's up with that? For real though. I can't get my skull around it. This kid's mad strong, yo. Nah, it ain't even like that. This kid is straight up dangerous, homie. I don't know, man. Isn't this whole place trouble? Yeah, it totally is, homie. I mean, that thing is so strong that regular Pokemon don't even want to come out and battle. Yo, kid. You know there's a mad strong Pokemon lurking back here somewhere, right? I'd run if I were you. <coughs> Excuse me. Nah, we're not going out like that. We gotta get our revenge. Go stand over there. Go stand over that den and catch that struggling Rattata, yo. For real? Fine. I got no bones to pick with you. And alright, we are going to find the final Pokemon that we need to defeat here in Verdun Cavern. Ooh, and it's going to be an actual Lolan Eradicate instead of a Rattata. So interesting. Let's see how much I can do to pick a pack. I know we don't have the best uh, best defenses, so let's hope that it's not too powerful. Oh, we do have speed, which is great. And we're just going to take it out. We're going to one-shot it. Get out of here, Lolan Eradicate. Get out of here. Let's go, defeated all those Pokemon. So then we... We will be... Bring them on how many orange bears? How many orange bears? We got four, let's use them. Alright, I'm gonna leave with a low end Grimer just for the fact that I do think it has better defenses to take on this uh, totem Pokemon. Is this does sound extremely scary? Now the heart of the cave. It's finally time to get your midst of your first Z crystals. Alright, Rotom, Rotom Dex. The feel of a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through you. But from where? Will you take the Z crystal from the pedestal? Yes, we will. Oh crap. Oh crap. Alright, and it is gonna be on a Lola Rotata. That is the to totem Pokemon that we are taking on. You are challenged by Totem Radicate. I think I might have said Rotata, yeah. Totem Radicate. And a war, blah blah blah, raised its defense. Alright, so we're going to take that tackle. I am going to poison gas this eradicate. Oh no, don't say that's a lung. A Pekka Berry. Alright, it's going to bring on some help from the Lola Notata. We're going to poison gas both of these Pokemon this time. Take one tackle. And it has to take another tackle.
We're gonna use disable on with low and eradicate Going for a little bit of strats here. Okay, he's trying to go for Tail Whip to lower our defense, so we're actually going to get rid of Tail Whip, which I really do like. No Tail Whip. Alright, we got both of these Pokemon. We can't have our defense lowered. Let's go on to Pick a Pack, see if we can maybe, hopefully, uh, not take too much damage from a tackle or whatever they decide to go for. It's gonna do decent damage. This will probably do. Eee. Gonna eat that nice orange berry though. That was why we ate. We added the orange berry. I think we can take two more tackles. I think we can. So we're gonna go for that brick break on a low eradicate. Oh, is it's gonna go for bite? Oh god. So we are going to take out the Alolan Eradicate, but is the Alolan Rattata going to take out our Ruby the Pickaback so early in the story? <laughs> oh no! No! Oh no! Ruby! Oh god. I'm sorry, Ruby. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ruby. We're going to go into RJ. Oh, I didn't. I forgot that it likely had bite, and it just wasn't going up for it because we were in on the lowland grimer. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh. <sighs> All right, we defeated. Uh, took down. Totem eradicate, but it did cost us. Oh no! And then and then Ruby's evolving. Oh, this is oh this is not this is not cool. This is not cool. This is not cool. Just saw it all in the wound. This training Pokemon's just evolving. How does that even work? Oh man, this is not cool. Well, our first evolution is a Pokemon that we're actually not going to be able to use because we did lose Ruby, our pick a pick. Well, now a uh, Trumbeak, we did lose uh, Ruby in the last episode, so unfortunately we will not be able to use our first of all Pokemon. By, <coughs> by bending its beak, it can produce a variety of calls and brand itself a noisy nuisance for its neighbors. We did lose Ruby, so updated layout. We now just we only got RJ the Rally and Quintel Bean, so Radicate disappeared back into the cave somewhere. What an incredible what an incredible trainer you are. For you to be able to defeat the totem Pokemon that trained in such a powerful state, I don't know what I can say. Working in harmony with your Pokemon, you have cleared the trial of Lima. You're a phenomenal trainer. Congratulations, Token. The Z-Crystal from the pedestal, pedestal is yours now. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like it's a badge, but it's actually like a very useful item for us. This is a really different, uh, really cool different change to the um, standard gym leaders. You obtained the normally Zim. A Z. <laughs> oh god, I'm still sad. I'm sorry, Ruby. I'm sorry. Which I've just received is the normal Z crystal. It is known as normally MZ. Now, if you let a Pokemon that can use a normal type move hold that and strike an elegant pose like this one, then you'll be able to strengthen a normal type move by unleashing Z power. Moving right along. Ah, yes. First, there's one thing I forgot to mention. The totem Pokemon. In every locate where a captain holds his or her shell, you encounter a typically strong Pokemon like Laticate just now. And during battles against such, they may summon allies to shore up their offense. It's not a tactic often seen in other regions. Perhaps Pokemon in Alola are simply more inclined to help one another. 
Since you have managed to defeat the totem Pokemon and proved yourself, you can now try to catch any other Pokemon you find here in this cavern. In fact, have some great balls. Thank you, thank you. We earned them. We lost a life. We earned those. We earned them. And here, let me see if your Pokemon after all that- uh, let me see to your Pokemon after all that hard work. If we're done here, I have something interesting I'd like to show you. Come with me to Route 3. Alright, and up on that cliff, or we can't see it from there, but up on this cliff there is going to be a TM, it looks like. And we can see in the background when we're talking to Lima, so we will come back. We'll come back once we do have something that can break this, and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get that. Alright, though, let's get our Verdant Cavern encounter. And our Verdant Cavern encounter is going to be... Oh, God. That's how you... That's how... That's how you feel. That's how this game feels about us. We're gonna pound. I think we'll buy mine. Take take this out. We'll pound one more time. No. See what did I say about the AI not missing? <sighs> not missing Supersonic. We don't hit ourselves though, thankfully. Oh no, don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, cool. Alright, we are going to catch Zubat, which is our Verter and Cavern encounter. I do not plan on using Zubat, not a Pokemon I'm interested at all in using, as it's a commonly seen Pokemon in other playthroughs and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just way too standard. We're not being standard. We're being we're being different. We're using different Pokemon. So uh, yeah, we're not going to use that. When exposed to sunlight, they suffer burns. The frequency of their ultrasonic waves can differ slightly from colony to colony. Interesting. Uh, let's go back to our- honestly, no, 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 no. We are not gonna name Zubat after anyone, that is not fair. We're gonna give Zubat, we're just gonna call Zubat basic, cause it is basic as hell, and we're not gonna use it. I'm not naming Zubat after anyone, we're not doing that. Okay, this Pokemon just crept up on us. Oh, long Eradicate or Rattata? No, Eradicate. We're just gonna try to run. I have no interest in fighting this Pokemon. Fortunately, it's not gonna let us run. I'm gonna try to do it again because I have no interest in fighting this Pokemon, and we are gonna get away. So, thankfully, I didn't waste too much of our time. Hoping we can get out of here with not too many more encounters. We just wanna leave. We do have one more encounter. Alright, and since Zubat's so fast, I'm just gonna take it out. I'm just gonna take it out. Oh no, oh no. Alright, now we're gonna run. Now we are in fact going to run. We couldn't get away, of course. Of course. Uh, we need repels. Alright, there we go. Greetings, Captain Lima here. Like, we we were only a few steps away. You didn't have to introduce yourself again. As you travel around the islands of Alola, you will find Captain's barricades here and there. These barricades help mark areas where particularly strong Pokemon can be found. Anyone can pass them, of course, if they are escorted by a strong planer, trainer. Those who attempt to iron challenges can pass uh, the barricades as long as they clear the trial. Are you ready? Then behold, the power of a Captain. 
All right, we're gonna have our first barricade open. That looks like Route 3, so we will be taking on Route 3 right after we go to that Pokemon Center, heal up, and get us a few more potions. Now that you have cured the child, please inform our island Kahuna. Hala. Hey there, Token. Oh, looking at the expression of Lima's face, I'd say you cleared your first trial, yeah. Guess I better give you a little reward. Time to learn about Z Power, woo. Alright, we're gonna skip this, 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 because we, we, we don't do tutorials. We just learn. Watch and learn, cousin. Oh my god. Where's the skip button, Pokemon? Where's the skip button? Alright, alright. Breakneck Blitz. <laughs> it's not even <laughs> it's feet are moving, that looks a little looks a little funny. Alright, nice to see a Z move. Phew! Z powers heap all of the trainer's feelings into a Pokemon, yeah, which totally wears you out. Using Z Power once per battle is all a team can handle, yeah. Oh, so is that why you've been looking so ragged, Professor? <laughs> no, it's like I was hit with amnesia. I forgot that I lost Lily somewhere on Route 3. Think you could spare some time and help me look for a token? I can go and have a look around the cave for you in case you wandered that way. Thanks, cousin. Let's split up and find her, yeah? Alright. How did you lose Lily? I'm gonna go heal. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I feel like doing. How oh, is just chilling in the Pokemon Center still? You gotta get out of here, man. You too much of that Tapu Coco coffees, man. You're addicted. Leave. All right. Forgot to deposit. Our first fallen member of this playthrough, which is going to be Ruby the pick a -Pack. So I do apologize to you, Ruby. I do apologize to you, pick a -Pack. It was fun. It was very fun. And we are going to deposit it. Zubat. Basic the Zubat. This is not a Pokemon I plan on using. And all, as always, we do. We could use a few more names as uh, encounters are going to start to rapidly hit us as we get further into this playthrough. So if you do want to get your name showcased as a Pokemon throughout this playthrough, please do answer the question of the day, which today is going to be, because uh, last time our question was, what's your favorite Generation 7 Pokemon? This time it's going to be, what is your most disliked Generation 7 Pokemon? Mine is going to easily be Bruxix. I hate looking at that Pokemon. I hate everything about it. It is so damn ugly. It's shiny sprite. gives me ter gives me nightmares. I do not like it. I do not like it. So we do have a trainer that we will be battling. So it looks like there might be a few trainer battles that we have to take on before we can get this encounter. Rising Star Ion is going to have a Psyduck. Alright, we're gonna put the XP share on back on just for a tab bit. Just for a tab bit. Oh, 
Alright. Take out that side up and gain a level on Quinto Beans. Once we land acid spirits, we get a move. Hmm. I like these moves, I really do. Let's forget pound. Oh yeah, let's put that extra shell on. RJ back in the lead. It's all right, and we can actually get our encounter right now. So our Route Three encounter is going to be. Um, is that Dubs? Did we have the channel going on that? I'm not sure. I don't think we did. No, we have not encountered an Alona Rattata, so Alona Rattata is going to be our Route 3 encounter, so we're going to have two Dark types, so not the best type synergy, but we are going to use Alona Rattata, at least for a little while. Uh, I definitely don't plan on keeping it for forever, as uh, if we are going to keep one of our Dark types, it is going to be, uh, it is going to be our Alona Grimer, but we will, we will give this little Rattata a chance. And there we are, Alolan Rotata has been caught. Let's go back to our comment section of our previous videos to see who can, we can name this Pokemon after. Who can we name this after? Right. Oh dang, I meant, to, I meant to read that. Never mind. Alright, we're gonna name this Alora Rotata after my good friend Mira. Thank you for answering the question of the day on our first video, Mira. You get an Alora Rotata named after you, friend. Gonna go heal this bad boy up. Let's look at its stats first. Let's give it a chance. Look at those stats. Alright, so Mare the Alolan Rattata is going to have the moveset of Tackle, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, and Focus Energy, all normal type moves. It's going to have a docile nature, which I am pretty sure is neutral. And it, uh, oh, I did not look at, oh no, I did, I looked at everything we need to, and it's going to be level 9, so, not bad. Not too bad. There's also things flying in the sky, and, uh, from my other playthrough, I do know that those would have been uh, that would have been another encounter that we could have uh, got for Route Three, but obviously those are. I think there's only one Pokemon that that can be, so I didn't want to do that as our encounter. I wanted to have options as our encounter, so my reasoning behind that. We'll probably clear out Route Three, and then we might call it an episode. We'll see where we are time-wise after that. Alright, so we are going to run into one of these flying Pokemon. It is going to be a Sparrow. Alright, and we do have Mira the Lolo Rattata added on our screen now. So we're going to scoop up this Sharp Beak. Not a bad item to add. If, also, that's just more... That's just Game Freak. Not Game Freak. That's just the game playing with us more. As a Sharp Beak would have been a great item to have. <laughs> would have been a great item to have for uh, Ruby the pick a pick a Ruby the Trumbeak, so oh, the game really, really is just gonna keep throwing that all up in our face. Just throwing it all in our face.
All right, we're gonna take this pet little pet little out. Oh, I lived. I lived. Oh, Melee Melee Meadows. We're going to hop into Melee 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 Meadows and get our Melee Melee Meadows encounter. Oh, as we are going to run into Lily here. Nebby. Nebby. Come back. Ah, token. Nebby ran off into the meadows here. It's like, just go get him. Are you that helpless? Just literally go get him. And right after it, it got into so much trouble on the bridge too. And what if a wild Pokemon attacks it? Doesn't have any moves to use. Save Nevi, go grab it. Nothing's happening. It's chilling. Go grab it. All right, we're gonna get our melee metal, melee melee meadows encounter, and it is going to be. Oh, a cuter fly! I like that! I like that! Let's do it! I'm not sure it can live a pet. Yeah, I'm not going for it. Not going for the pet. Mm. Well, now that our attack fell. Oh, wow. Don't do this, cuter fly. Please don't do this, cuter fly. Don't do this. Okay. So I think we could go for a pick now that our attack fell. Let's see, please, 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 please. Okay. Woo! Woo! Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's take out this other one so we can actually throw a Pokeball. Oh my god. Gonna eat that orange berry. Thank God, Stun Sport does not affect us. They just keep going for that. All right, we take it out. Let's hope it doesn't call for help again. As we are gonna gain a level, so not bad. RJ gaining another level. Good job, RJ. Ooh, Razor Leaf! Razor, Razor, Razor Leaf! Uh, Leafage is a physical attack. We're gonna get rid of Tackle. We're gonna get rid of Tackle. Yes, and it did not call for help. So I would like to see it in a nest wall. Let's see if we can catch it in a nest wall. Alright, and we are gonna catch Cuta Fly. So that is gonna be our fourth member to this team. Cuta Fly is a Pokemon I can see us maybe using for the long run, or at least for a good while. My rides of Cuta Fly flutter above the heads of people who have auroras resembling those of flowers. Not bad, not bad. And yes, we would love to give it a nickname, and I already know who answered the question, who answered our question today in previous episodes I want to name this Pokemon after, so we are going to name it after my good friend Jessica, so not bad. Jessica the Cutifly, let's check out those stats. We are going to be a uh, level 12, and we're going to have the moveset of Absorb, Fairy 1, Stun Spore, and Struggle Bug. And we're going to be a bold nature, so that's going to be defense up, attack down. So it's not the best by any measure, but it's not bad. At least it's not ruining our special attack. Because I think that's going to play the best stat. It speeds its best stat, and then I think it's special attack. Not sure, though. But at least we're not ruining. At least that's not being ruined. 
Did we ever scoop up some of our pals? I really don't want to continue to run into Pokemon and then have them call on more Pokemon. That's just... That's already getting on me nerves. It's already... Yeah, we scooped up some repels. Let's scoop up some repels. We're going to save Nebby, run back to the Pokemon Center, and call it an episode. Get this netball. Uh, jump right into there. There we are, Nebby. Oh, you! Thank you, Token. And I should thank Rowlet, too. Here, let me at least do this. Gonna hear our Pokemon, thank you. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seems the Pokemon called Oratorio changes its appearance by feeding on the nectar from different types of flower. It's not actually evolving, but undergoing a so-called form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was anyway. Back into the bag, please, Nebby. I know there aren't many people around to see you here, but that's hardly an excuse. I guess we should be going now. The professor will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. That's if you guys have seen some of the uh, memes that have been going around on <laughs> on uh, Lily and Nebby with the whole bag situation. It's some of the most funniest things I've ever seen in Pokemon. So uh, definitely look that up if you haven't. Hey, Token! Oh, and Lily, with you too. What are you up to, Hal? Just finished up my just finished up me tr my trial here. Hey, Token. I want to see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. Oh, dang. So we are going to have a battle against Hawaii to finish off this episode. Sorry about that. I would have finished up before that, but the pretty much I just got led into it. If I could have said no, I wouldn't have done it. But we're here, and we're doing it. He's going to leave with his Pikachu. We're going to have to switch out. We don't want RJ in on that Pikachu. He's going to go right into our low and grimer, Quinn. Quinn, Quinn, Quinn. He's gonna go for an Electro Ball. That might do actually huge damage. We're extremely slow. Okay, it didn't do too much. That was actually scary for a sec. <laughs> Alright, he's just gonna spam Electro Ball. Maybe I should have went for Disable. So that's actually doing more damage than I would like. We are gonna get him with our Poison Touch. Alright, and I think Poison does kill him on the next turn. So we are just going to heal up. He's gonna go for a quick attack. Not bad. And poison slightly doesn't take him out. So we'll just go for acid spirit. As he goes for play, nice. To lower our attack. So he's going for strats for his next Pokemon. See you, Pika. Mira is going to gain a level, go to level 10, and yes, we are going to teach Mira Bite. Alright, he's going to send out his Papliol, or Papliol, or whatever y'all, and we are going to go right back into RJ, so that we can just get rid of this Pokemon really quickly, as I did want to finish off the episode uh, right after our encounter, but dialogue kind of did drag us into this battle. Not bad though, we'll finish it off. We'll finish you off since you so rudely didn't let us... Didn't let us... End off the episode, huh? That was really rude of you. Let's go for Razor Leaf, our new move. And that will take out the Pop Leo. I think that's his entire team. We'll see if he has more. We are going to get to level 16, so do we have an evolution? I'm not sure. Yep, that's going to be Hual's entire team. Oh, man. Oh, man. I wanted to show off my Pokemon's best side more. So you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, huh, Token? It looks like we're getting pretty strong. But I wonder if I'll ever be able to beat my Gramps at this rate. 
Hey there, Token. Knew I could count on you. Thanks for tracking Lily down for me. What's this then? Oh, you finished your trial too? I bet you used some styling moves, yeah. <laughs> right. Harlow's probably rubbing his hands together in glee ab about now. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you mean? It's all its all part of the trials, yeah? After you clear one island's trials, you gotta battle the island's kahuna. Take, taking on island's kahuna in battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some, some fierce Pokemon battles. Woo. I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, back to Iki Town. Catch that Tailwind and blast through Route 3. Alright, I don't want to take up any more of your guys' time as this episode is already a little bit longer than I would have liked. As 40 minutes was our benchmark, we did just get kind of dragged into that battle with Hau. So, thank you guys so much for watching. As we do now have four members, RJ the Rally, Quinto Beans the Lolan Grimer, Mirror the Lolan Radicate, and Jessica the Cutafly. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, once again, please do like, share, subscribe, and maybe even share. as a, um, Just showing that you enjoy these episodes is all that matters to me. I'm here to supply entertaining content for you all, so I'm going to get the heck out of here. Thank you so much for watching, and in the next episode, we will probably be taking on the Kahuna, Kahuna Hala, as we finish off our first trial in um, the Lola region. So if you guys have been enjoying, definitely tune into that. For now, though, I'm going to get out of here. Peace, everyone.